Now that Labor Day is in our rearview mirror, a brand new school year has started, which also means high school football season has begun. And when it comes to high school football in the Boston Public Schools, it seems like any team could rise to the top this year. On Friday, we got a look at last year's Boston North champions, the Brighton Bengals, as they paid a visit to the O'Brien Tigers. Let's head to O'Brien High School for this one. There you see first year starting quarterback for O'Brien, Kobe Smith, but it was his play at safety that got his team going early. First quarter, Kobe Smith picks off Nate Hall and takes it to the house. 38 yard interception return for a touchdown. O'Brien goes up six to zip there early on in the first quarter. There wasn't much offense going on in this one until the second half. So we'll fast forward to the third quarter. Smith and the quarterback keeper. He shoved out of bounds inside the five yard line. Looks like O'Brien set up to score, but Brighton's D hangs tough. Kevin Brown comes up with the interception off the tip ball in the end zone. Keeps O'Brien from scoring in the third quarter. But on the ensuing possession for the Bengals, they really had a tough time all night offensively. Nate Hall wrapped up in the backfield by Stephen Lamb. Hall was under duress all evening long. Brighton could not move the football very easily. We're going to pick it up in the fourth quarter now. Still six to zip Kobe Smith with a strike over the middle to Uche Ibokwi. Smith would tack on the two point conversion as O'Brien takes down last year's Boston North champion Brighton Bengals. 14 to zip and O'Brien starts off the season at 1 and 0. We're going to get you the rest of the scores from the weekend. The first week of high school football, Dorchester blanks West Roxbury 28 to zip. Jakes with two rushing touchdowns and one passing touchdown for the Dorchester Bears. Burke is blanked by Randolph 38 to zip. Bowens with three rushing touchdowns for Randolph High School. Also on Friday night, Madison Park taking down a new mission 20 to 6 at Madison Park High School for their first win of the season at home. Also on Friday, Latin Academy lighting up the scoreboard, taking down South Boston 50 to 6. Ian Coakley, five total touchdowns, two rushing, one two receiving, and one on an interception. Also on Friday, East Boston and Boston English lighten up the scoreboard. 48 to 28, East Boston wins. Terrence Moore with four rushing touchdowns. Then on Saturday, September 12th, Boston Latin loses to Brookline 30 to 20. A lot of teams putting up a lot of points on the board over the weekend. We'll see if that keeps up throughout the season. The West Roxbury Raiders had a tough game against Dorchester on Friday, but that didn't take away from the celebration on Saturday at their home field. The Raiders were joined by Boston Mayor Marty Walsh, School Superintendent Tommy Chang, Boston Parks and Recreation Commissioner Chris Cook, and other school and city officials for a ribbon cutting to mark the completion of a renovation project at Raider Field. The $18.2 million project includes new turf for the football, softball, baseball, and soccer fields, a new six-lane paved running track, three tennis courts, two half-court basketball courts, a new energy-efficient lighting system. As for the West Roxbury Raiders football team, their first game on the new field will be this upcoming Friday at 6 p.m. versus Madison Park. Boy, that place looks great. They did a great job there. That's going to do it for sports this week. Be sure to come right back here next week for more on Boston Neighborhood Sports.